Yes, you were waiting for this for a very long time, right? So yeah, we're just yes. gonna wait for the others. Okay, okay, so how do you feel about speaking? Do you feel comfortable speaking in English? When I feel motivated, yeah, teacher, because sometimes uh, I take mistakes. I make mistakes, yeah. okay? Sometimes you make mistakes. All right, that's normal. Okay, so you don't really have to worry too much about it, okay? So, uh, as I said before, we are going to practice a little bit more towards the interviewing questions, okay? So, we're going to talk like, about questions. Uh, like, that how, interview. how do you see yourself in five years? Sure, yeah, that kind of question. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you see yourself in five years in the company? How do you see yourself in 10 years? Things like that, okay? okay. So, we're going to do that kind of stuff. Though, for you, okay. probably, that would be easy. But for some people, it will be hard because they are not used no, to no, no, it. Is, no, it's easy, teacher, because for the agents, if you don't speak well, it's like, uh, I don't know how to say this, but it's like uh, coming after when you speak well in good fluency and good pronunciation. They mm -hmm. uh, want all that kind of stuff, you know, right? Right, yeah, the kind of stuff, okay. So you're talking about uh, working in a call center? Um, a call center? I, I, I used to, I used to uh, try enter to a call center before. Mm, which call center? Uh, TP or, how do you say Sky. Sometimes I, I forget the call center because I dedicate a lot of time to skateboarding. Oh, to skateboarding. I see. That's good. All right. Yeah, um, I think that what is most important is just confidence, okay? You have to be confident about your abilities, all right? And usually when you're in a call center, people speak, uh, well, not really that. It's not that people speak really good. They just speak like whatever comes into their mind. I think that that's the most important thing. Do you know that the people that get hired in a call center are not really the people that have the best English? The people that have the best English are the people that do not get in. Okay? Why, because teacher? They, because what they want is people that are outgoing. Okay? People that uh, can sound cheerful, yeah. people that sound like really fun, uh, you know, these kind of people that are very dynamic. Dynamic and all people. Dynamic people, exactly. They don't care about English. That's that's false. They care. They care about dynamic people. Okay. How well, about the people that work in call center speak a lot of fast, teacher? They speak fast, but they don't speak accurate. There's this. Uh, this is a big difference. Okay. Well, I know many people, the most people who are coming in, teacher. What's oh up, yes. Guys? Yes, exactly. So we are having more people here. That's good to hear. Okay. So like I said, these people want dynamic people. All right, they don't really care too much about people that speak English. Of course, there are people that speak very fast, but not out of them. I know many call center agents that have horrible English, and they are in like the case, best agents. In my case, teacher, I, I need more vocabulary. You need more vocabulary, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so of course, this is a thing that happens. Uh, when you hear someone speaking fast, you think that they know English. But I have been... Uh, learning the English language for 80 years, okay? My ex fiance, ex prometida, she was American. I grew up uh, with basically in an American home, okay? So I know how to... So you know about his own slang? Yes, I like, uh, I know about slang, but I don't really like using it. I prefer formal English, okay? Because I specialize in academic English, the language for the TOEFL, TOEIC, and IELTS. Okay, yeah, I have never yeah, really liked Islam. Mm -hmm. I, I, I get to use it to speak with the slang for the skateboarding, right? So when you meet someone or, or go to a skateboard, you say, hey, what's up, man? But no, it's like in a call center, an academic, hello, how are you? Yeah, that's right. That's another problem. Okay, you have to learn to speak according to the job. Okay, that's something yeah. else. All teacher, right, the perfect. More, the more people come in, teacher. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. Uh, we're still um, uh, discussing, okay? So we're going to be discussing um, which each of these. Okay, they, so don't worry. They need the greetings. The greetings. Right, they need the greetings, yes. But today is going to be a different class. So you're gonna, they're going to speak a lot, okay? 
So yeah, okay. we're just waiting for them. Okay, so that was your turn, Jose. How about Angel? Okay, Angel, hello, how are you doing today? How are you doing, Angel? Okay, so you are unmuted now, okay? So Angel, how are you doing today? I'm fine. You feel fine, okay, that's good to hear. All right, so today we're gonna do a speaking se session, okay? Yes. Mm, okay, perfect. So today I'm gonna speak more English than ever, okay? Because we finished section five, we finished the whole module. So today we're gonna focus on learning through English, all right? All right. Okay, perfect. Okay, then we have Alison. Alison, how are you doing today? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you doing today? I feel very good. You feel very good, all right, that's perfect. Okay, Thanks. so are you ready to speak a lot of English? Say yes. Are you ready to speak a lot of English? Yes. You can just say yes. Okay, awesome. All right, so we're gonna speak a lot today, all right? And let's see who else we have here. Betty, Betty, hello, how are you doing today? How are you doing today, Betty? Good evening. Good evening, how are you doing today? Um, I'm fine and tired. You're fine and tired, yes, definitely. It's Wednesday, I'm also tired. I've been teaching the whole day, right? So. But unfortunately, we have to keep going, right? Life doesn't stop. We have to keep doing our best. All right, so are you ready to speak a lot of English today? Um. Say yes. <laughs> okay, all right, so then we have, let's see, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, hello, good evening. How are you doing today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, I feel fine this day. <laughs> Okay, you feel fine this day. That's great. Are you ready to speak a lot of English today? Yes. All right, perfect. That's the attitude. Great job. Okay, then we have Eric. Eric, hello. Good evening. How are you doing today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm How okay. are you doing today? You're okay. All right. Are you ready to speak a lot of English? I will try. You will try. Okay, that's the attitude. Okay, try it. That's everything you need to do. Okay, then we have Jennifer Aquino. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Can you Jennifer. hear me? Yes, teacher, I can. All right, perfect. How are you doing today? Fine. You're fine. Okay, that's great yeah. to hear. All right, are you ready to speak a lot of English today? Yes, I'm ready. All right, and perfect. I'll do You're the ready. best of me. Okay, you will do the best of you. Okay, that's great. Awesome. And then we have, where did Wakilia go? Okay, so uh, let's see who else is here. So only seven participants. All right, so today I'm going to be speaking mostly in English, okay? Because you have to get used to my English. Teacher, All right? Yes? I'm sorry I was absent, but I had more problems, but for the moment they were normal, normalized. They're normalized. Okay, the problem that your job has normalized now. Okay, that's good to hear. Thanks. Okay, yeah, don't worry. It's good to have you here again. Okay, did you finish all the platform? Yes. All right, perfect, that's great. All right, so there's no problem then. Okay, so Diego Moreno, hello, good evening. How are you doing today? Good evening. Good evening, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. You're good, okay, perfect, that's awesome. Okay, let's see who else is here. Okay, I think that with you guys, we are gonna uh, start, okay? So today we're going to speak English more than ever. We're going to have a very dynamic class, okay? We have to do our best. All right, and we're going to do it differently because we are not going to focus on grammar today. So I want everyone to look at each other. So before, probably we didn't look at each other, So, but today we're going to look at each other, okay? So we are going to show ourselves to everyone, okay? So give me just a second. We have nine participants, okay? All right, perfect. All right. Okay, six participants, okay? Six, seven, eight, nine. All right, perfect. So now we can see each other, right? So, well, at least Jose and Elizabeth, we can see 
uh, these guys, okay? So these guys are our representatives, our representatives, all right? So uh, how about we start by introducing ourselves, okay? That, that's, the, that's the very first thing that you should know, especially if you're applying for a job, a job position, okay? Especially in an interview. So Elizabeth, please introduce yourself. Uh, what? Uh, hi. What's your name? No, that's okay. That, that, that that's that's good. Okay, but introduce yourself. Tell everyone your name, uh, oh, your job, okay. your age. Oh, okay. Okay. What you oh, like okay. doing? Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Elizabeth Gonzalez. Um, I'm uh, work. I work in mm -hmm. financial. Consulting. Um, National Consulting, that's great. Uh -huh. It's a um, form, independent form. Okay, ah. you're independent. Okay, perfect. That's awesome. That's great. Okay, yes. great yes. job. That's awesome. I give you an A plus. Okay, great Thank job, you. Elizabeth. Okay, how about we start now with Jose? Jose, please introduce yourself to everyone. Me, teacher. Yes, please. Jose Cabrero. Okay. Uh, my name is Jose Andres. I am 23. Uh, I used to work in a company now, like I like a, a internship. Um, I was studying in university before. I am not independent yet. Just that, teacher. Okay, that's perfect. Great job. Okay, just remember to say years old. Okay, 23 years old. I know that you like saying that. Es como me habían dicho que cuando les dicen I am, no es necesario years old. No es necesario, pero ya te estás metiendo en slang. Ok, ya te estás metiendo en slang informal. Tenemos que ser lo más formal posible. Lo más polite, exacto, formal en este caso. Porque no es tanto polite. Polite es este que no vas a ofender a otra persona. En este caso sería formalidad. Ok. So, formality, guys. All right. So, says years old. Okay, so then we have Angel. Angel. Okay, so introduce yourself, please. Angel? Okay, what about Jennifer Aquino? Please introduce yourself. Good evening. I'm Jennifer. I'm 26 years old and I'm a student because I'm, I'm employed. You're unemployed, okay. Well, you're unemployed right now, but in the future, right you now. will have a really great job, right? Yes. All right, perfect, that's the attitude. Great job, awesome. And then Angel, oh, Angel, so could you please okay. introduce yourself? Okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Angel, Angel Martinez. I live in Santa Ana. I I work in my home. Uh, I I I I fifteen years old. Mm -hmm. uh, I I play football. So okay. Uh, only that. Okay, perfect. So yeah, like uh, they say right there, uh, usually you say soccer because football is usually uh, referring to uh, American football, okay? So it's okay. better you say soccer. All right, perfect, okay? And someone else is connecting, that's good. All right, so then let's see what about um, Betty. Betty, could you please introduce yourself? Betty, could you please introduce yourself? Good evening. Uh, Good evening. Is Betty Vasquez. I live in I am San Salvador. Okay, that was really good. Okay, thank you very much, Betty. Okay, I give you one star. Great job. That's awesome. Great job. All right, so then, Valkyria. Valkyria, can you hear me? Yes, 
Hello. Hello. Okay, please introduce yourself. My day was pretty. Your day was pretty, My okay. My day was pretty. Pretty, okay. So, could you please introduce yourself? ¿Puedes este, presentarte? Nos estamos presentando. We're introducing ourselves in English, okay? That's the very first step in speaking English, all right? So, Valkyria, could you please introduce yourself? ¿Puedes presentarte? Valkyria? Say your name, for example. Let's see. No escucho bien, okay? Uh, everyone else can hear me well? ¿Todos me pueden escuchar bien? Yeah. Okay, perfect, okay? Yes. Yeah. So, it's yeah. probably your connection, Valkyria. Es probable, eh, probablemente tu conexión, Valkyria. Valkyria. Um, si gustas, apaga el video. Okay? You can turn off your video if you want, Valkyria. Okay? That will let you have a better connection. Okay, muy bien. Okay, so then we have, let's see, Eric. Okay, hello, good evening. Uh, can you introduce yourself, please? Okay, teacher. Hello everyone, good evening. Uh, my name is Eric Acosta, but everyone call, can call me Eric. I'm 25 right. years old. My profession is electrical engineer. Currently, I don't have a job because I graduated last month. Oh, you graduated last month. Okay, wow, congratulations, yes. great job. Okay, perfect. All right, so you will have a job very soon. Don't give up, okay? Especially if you know English, you will get a very good job, all right? So good luck finding a job. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay, then we have, let's see, um, Alison. Alison, uh, can you introduce yourself? Okay. Uh, hello, good night, everyone. My name is Alison. I am 22, 22 years old. I currently work in the office as a collection manager. All right, perfect. That's great. Okay, great job. That was amazing. Okay, very good. I give you one star. Awesome. Okay, perfect. So then we have, let's see, Diego Moreno. Diego Moreno, could you introduce yourself? Yeah. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Diego Moreno. I'm 33 years old. I live in San Miguel, but I'm planning to move to San Salvador. Uh, I work as a, an electrician. That's it. All right, perfect. That's great. Okay, great job. That's awesome. All right, great job, Diego. All right, so now uh, let's see Marvin Chiquillo. Okay, hello. Could you please introduce yourself? Marvin, could you please introduce Hello. yourself? Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Could you please introduce yourself, Marvin? Oh. Um, mm -hmm. We're introducing ourselves. Nos estamos presentando. Ya nos conocemos okay, todos, pero aquí es solo por practicar inglés. Hoy vamos a practicar mucho inglés. Okay. Um, My name is Marvin. Mm -hmm. I am 25 years old. All right, 25 years old, that's great. Um, uh, living in Apopa. Okay, you live in Apopa, that's great. Oh, I don't know. That's just fine. Okay, that was good. Okay, thank you very much, Marvin. That's great. Okay, give you one star. Great job. All right. So, yeah, uh, Walkiria, can you hear me? No, she's not here again. Okay. Yeah, she has very bad connection, unfortunately. Okay, so then let's see who else. Okay, I think that everyone already introduced themselves. So, we're going to continue. Okay. So, for today, we're going to play a game okay so uh we are gonna start okay 
So now uh, I don't know if everyone everyone knows this game. Uh, usually you get points for answering one question related to these categories. Okay. So what we're gonna do is that we are gonna answer as many questions as we can, and each one will be responsible of uh, knowing how many points they have. Okay. Así que como somos demasiados, este, no podemos hacer equipos, lastimosamente, porque será todo un caos. Así que eh, como vamos a ganar puntos por responder estas preguntas, cada uno vean ahí cuántos puntos lleva. ¿Ok? Entonces, este, vamos a comenzar. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, empecemos, veamos con... Eh, ¿Qué categoría? ¿Cuál categoría quieren? Emotions. Emotions, ok. Perfecto. Entonces, ¿te gustaría comenzar tú? Con emotions? Excelente. Okay, excellent. Okay, yes, awesome. Okay, which number? Oh, eh, eh, está bien ese, ese que está señalando. 400? Yes. 400, okay? 400. Perfect, okay. 400, awesome. Okay. Share about a time you felt powerful. Oh, un, um, y eso es una pregunta? Mm, this is not a question, it's just a, a no. instruction. No. Tengo una instrucción. Oh. Eh, comparte eh, o háblanos sobre un tiempo, un momento en que te sentiste poderosa. Ah, oh, ok. I'm, I go to the mountain. Um, um, I am walk. Walk. Um, mm -hmm. Caminar. Um, mm -hmm. Walk. Um, ten hours. Ten hours, okay. Ten hours, ten great. Very tired, cansada. Very tired. Very tired, but um, uh, I um, la, um, ver la naturaleza, o sea, ver la naturaleza, el atardecer. Mm -hmm. Look at uh, nature, okay. The twilight, okay. Llegar a la the cumbre. Sunset. <laughs> okay, uh, getting to the top of the mountain. Okay, great. Yes. Uh, All right. All right to the summit or to the top of the mountain. Okay, great job. Yes. And but there was a problem with what you said. Are you talking about uh, like a time you felt powerful or when you feel powerful, like in the past or present? Oh. Uh, mm, uh, past. Pass, right? But you said, I go to the mountain. Okay. So what's the problem there? I went. I went, exactly. I okay, I went. The past tense of go is I went to the mountains, okay? Okay. Just that. Everything else was amazing, okay? So great job, okay? okay. That was Thank perfect, you. okay? Thank so you. I give you an A+. Plus. Awesome. So how many, so you get in this case 400 points, okay? So okay. 400 points for her. So remember your number, okay? We're gonna see who has more points in the end, okay? Perfect, so now who else wants to participate? Remember, the more you participate, the more points you'll have. Okay, Jennifer, all right. Uh, which category and which number? Um, more questions. More questions, all right. Mm -hmm. So, which number? Um, 200. 200, all right. Okay, if you have to change your name, what new name would you choose? Uh, well, in fact, I love my name. <laughs> okay, you love your name. But, but unfortunately, but, you have to change it. Yeah. <laughs> in this case, probably I change my name. It will be Esther. Okay, you will change it to Esther, okay. Why? I don't know, I like that name. <laughs> okay, yeah. so Esther Aquino. Mm, yes. That sounds nice. Okay, great job, that was perfect, okay. Awesome, give you an A plus, all right? And in this case, yeah, just a second. Okay, so in this case, uh, that would mean that you have 200 points, okay? So remember your points. Okay, oh. recuerda tu puntaje, 200 points, okay? 200, okay. I got it. 200. Okay, 200, all right, 200. All right, so who else wants to participate?
I want what else? to try teaching. Sure. Okay, Jose. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. All right. So, which category? Uh, my um, whatever picture. Mm, I don't have that option. Uh, down the screen, teacher. Please. Up. Down the screen. The screen. Up. 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 I cannot scroll it up or down. This is the whole screen. Uh, okay. Uh, then four hundred. 400, okay, perfect, okay. So, make your own question. <laughs> so, you literally, this is the question that you ask for, you say whatever, so make your own question. <laughs> uh, I don't know uh, what kind of jobs want to, to get the people. What kind of jobs do people want to get? Okay, perfect. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right, so that's a good one, okay, that's a good one. So, uh, do you want to reply to yourself? You want to answer it yourself? What do you uh, think? Not, uh, at what? not at all, okay. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so this is gonna be a problem. If you answer it yourself, then you will get 400 points. Otherwise, you're gonna get 200 points and the other person who answers it uh, are, is gonna get 200 points. So do you want half of it or do you want to uh, have everything for you? I have everything for me. Okay, so then answer your own question. What kind uh, of jobs do people want right now in El Salvador? The job done is be able to, to win a lot of money, thousands or millions, or, or became a boss, a big boss. All right, okay. So, but what kind of a specific jobs would you say like, make a like lot of money? Account, like account or lawyer, Okay, accountant or a lawyer, okay. Or doctor. A doctor, all right, perfect. Or, or an excellent seller. Excellent seller, all right, perfect. Great job, that's awesome, okay? Perfect, so you got 400 points and an I plus, okay? Also, perfect, okay? So that was a great question, so you get 400 points, all right? So remember your score. Now, how about Allison? Okay, I'm gonna help you get points. Okay, what category would you like? Well, you like, well, you would you rather? Would you rather, okay, would you rather? Do you know what would you rather means? 500. Yeah, in this case, it will mean preference, okay? Which one would you prefer? That's what it means, okay? So which number would you rather? 500. 500, okay? So in this case is have a magic carpet to fly or have your own personal robot. Which one would you rather have? Um, have your, um, no, have a magic carpet to fly. To fly, okay, perfect, why? I have, uh, have a carpet to fly around the world. Okay, so you want to have a magic carpet to fly around the world. Great, perfect, that's awesome. Great job, I give you an A plus. And no, actually this is a star, okay? So I give you a star and an A plus. So double points, great job. Okay, perfect. All right, and we have Mary. Hello, Mary, good evening. Do you have any questions, Mary? Because you uh, enter late, okay? So in this case, you have, let's see, which one was it, 500, okay? So remember your score, Alison, 500, okay? So then we have Mary, okay? Mary, how are you doing today? I'm fine. You feel fine, okay? That's great. So today we're playing a game, okay? Do you want some points? Yes. All right, perfect. So please decide one category, okay? And tell me one number. Um, 2,000. 2,000, wow, I, I don't think I have that. Sorry, <laughs> okay. sorry, sorry. <laughs> sí, 2,000 no tengo. Um, <laughs> 300. 300, okay, 300. Which category? Entertainment, que sería entretenimiento, emotions, emociones. We have word association, association de palabras. Emotion. More questions. Emotions, okay, so 300, all right? Perfect. So, share about a time you felt uncomfortable. Oh no. Okay. Eh, cuéntanos una, un momento en el que te has sentido eh, no cómoda o incómoda. Um, right now? I was nervous. 
Okay, you were nervous, okay? Um, I don't remember. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you want the points, right? Come on, you can do it. You're starting off good. You start off good, okay? So, come on, you can do it. What else? When do you get uh, nervous? For example, in my first class. Okay, your first I, class. Mm -hmm. As a new, new classmate. Mm -hmm. When you have new classmate. It's mm, very... Right. Um, I was... Uh, I was... Nervous in, in this moment. All right, you were nervous in this moment. Yes, definitely. But you know what? You have improved your English a lot. So I am really proud of you, okay? So you're doing great. Great job. That was a great answer. And I give you an A plus, okay? Great job. Perfect, <laughs> Mary, okay? And guess what? You got, uh, how many points was that? 300, you think? Yeah. 300 points, 300 points to Mary, great job. Okay, so please remember your point. Todos recuerden sus puntos, porque de tantos puntos, números que me voy a equivocar. Así que todos recuerden a quién le toca cada uno. Okay, awesome. So now let's see who else wants to participate. Come on, get more points, more points. Me teacher, entertainment. Entertainment, okay, perfect. Entertainment, awesome. Which number? Uh, 200. 200, okay, perfect. So, in your favorite class, which class activities do you find the most entertaining? Why? Um, in this class, English. English, uh, okay. Which class activities do you find the most entertaining? Um, Lo que son las explicaciones, ¿cómo podría decir? Las explicaciones de... Explanations. Um, order um, of sentence. The explanations of sentences, all right. Um, y compartir con los compañeros también. Okay, sharing with the, with the classmates, okay. Awesome, okay, um, sharing with your classmates, all right. Okay, y... Um, Learning the new words. Learning new words. Okay, perfect. Learning new vocabulary words. Okay, that's great. Okay, that was awesome. Great job. That was amazing. Okay, perfect. So now you get, uh, how many was it? Let's see, uh, entertainment. Yeah, so 200 points. Okay, so write that down. Write that down. Okay, 200 points. Okay. okay. So now we only have uh, three more questions. Okay, because we're going to continue with the interview questions. This is just a warm up. So, uh, three more questions. Who wants more points? Remember, uh, the, the one who has more points is going to win. Okay, so who wants more points? I want to try teacher, another reward. Okay, another reward? What reward? Get the points, teacher. Oh, okay. You meant like getting more points. Okay. You want to get the reward. Okay. So, uh, which number, which category you want to try? Emotions for uh, 100. Only 100? Okay. Yeah. Share about a time you felt peaceful. What is the meaning peaceful? Peaceful, like uh, there's a lot of peace. The birds are singing. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of flowers. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. When, when I when I feel that, when I am on my board, when you ride on the street, okay. and I ride okay. on the street. Mm, okay, perfect. That's great. All right. So when you're on your it's board, like, okay, your it's skateboard. It's like rest in peace, guys. Okay, so you felt very peaceful. Okay, that's great. Awesome. Okay, so you definitely got 100. Okay, awesome. So 104 emotions. Okay, so write that down, please. And me? Okay, sure. Um, word asso as association. Word associations, okay, the first one, okay. So which number? Very under. Which one? Six. Which one? Very under. 
300. 300. 300. Okay, great. So, what do you think of when you hear that word? Stressful. Um, my work is a stressful. Okay, my work is a stressful. Okay, perfect. That was awesome. Great job. Okay, that was a quick answer. That was amazing. Okay, so 300 easily. Wow, you're very lucky. Great job. Okay, perfect. All right, so 300. Remember your score. Be, uh, recuerden estar sumando sus puntos. Okay, and one more last question. And then we're going to go over to the finals. Okay, una pregunta más y vamos a ir a las finales. ¿Quién quiere participar? Me. Okay, perfect. So, uh, which number? E entertainment. Entertainment. And how, what is the number? Uh, 500. 500. Okay, perfect. So, you want more points. That's good. So, if you could meet one celebrity, who would you meet and what would you do? Oh, I... I meet with my family. No, one celebrity. Una celebridad. It has to be a celebrity. Oh. Uh, the celebrity and my birthday. My birthday. My, my Un birthday. actor o cantante. Mm -hmm. Celebridad. Un actor, oh, cantante. Celebridad. Oh, okay. Uh, I like, um, I like, um, Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony, okay, so you will say, I would like to meet Mark Anthony. Please repeat after me. I would like to meet Mark Anthony. I would like to meet Mark Anthony. Awesome, great job, that was perfect. And 500 points for you. I was gonna oh. say dollars, but no, 500 points. Unfortunately, I don't have money to give. <laughs> To give away. All right. So 500. Okay. So now remember your points. All right. So who has the most point? Uh, write down your points. Escriban sus números. Eh, la puntuación que tienen hasta el momento. ¿Quién tiene más puntos? Sumen sus puntos. Y por favor no mientan. Escriban sus puntos. Elisa de 600. Okay. 600. Jennifer 200. Okay. 200. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? 800 Harrison. Wow. Okay, Alison right now is winning. Who else has more than Alison? 500 Jose Cabrero. Mm, yeah. I think you should have chosen like 500. Deberías haberte ido por los de los de 500 y hubieras tenido 1000. Maybe, teacher, but I think that another question are more difficult. Right, si son más difíciles, sí, definitivamente. Ok, eh, ¿qué más? Ok, 800, 500. Ok, ¿qué más? Ok, hello. ¿Qué más? Hello. Hello. So, which number? Quiero ver, espera, vamos a escoger bien porque si no. Ok, entonces. Vamos a irnos por Association. Ok, Association, ok. Entonces, 300, ok, 300. 500, ok, Association 500. Ok, what do you think when you hear the word love? My family. Okay, your family. Okay, great. That was perfect. Okay, great, Alison. Okay, and so 500, right? So in this case, that 500. So then you got actually 100, uh, 1,300 points. Okay, so uh, basically Alison wins. Okay, so a big applause for Alison. She won the game. Great job. Okay, a big applause for Alison. Okay, okay so you won the game. So we 1,300 points, okay? Muy bien. Okay, so everyone, you should have chosen uh, the highest number. Deberían haber escogido los números más altos y participado más. Aquí participó ahora mucho Alison. La felicito, es increíble. Miren cuántos puntos obtuvo, 1,300. Okay? Entonces, en los próximos juegos, 
participen más, ¿ok? Gane más puntos. Ok, so Alison won. So, great job, Alison. Ok, thank you. Perfect. So, I give you a, an A, plus, ok? Great job. Awesome. Ok, so now we're going to look at some of these questions, ok? And these are the most uh, common questions. In this case, this is for in teachers, ok? But this is also some type of questions that everyone gets asked in interviews, ok? Entonces, estas son preguntas que se utilizan para profesores en línea, pero también son preguntas que se utilizan en cualquier entrevista. Así que vamos a tratar de responderlas, ¿ok? Así que, the first question is, tell us about yourself. Okay. Tell us about yourself. ¿Quién quiere responder esta pregunta? Tell us about yourself. Noria? Good evening. Good evening, Noria. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. How are you doing today? Le escucho. I am fine. Le escucho muy entrecortado. Por eso no participé porque escucho con, con, con mucha interferencia. Oh, en serio. Lo siento mucho. Pero, pero... ajá. Pero, ¿qué, qué, ¿de qué se trata ahora? Eh, ahorita estamos haciendo este, preguntas de speaking para que hablen. Ok. Okay, la primera Ajá. pregunta era, tell us about yourself. Cuéntanos sobre ti. Okay. ¿Ustedes me escuchan bien? Sí, okay. te escuchamos perfecto. Oh, okay. My name is Gloria Elizabeth Albetaña. Uh -huh. I am married. I am 43 years old. My favorite color is yellow. I have two children, mm -hmm. two boys, and boys. Oh, oh, two, two boys. <laughs> and um, I live in Sonsonate City. Okay, you live in Sonsonate City, all right, perfect. Okay. And um, actually, um, my boy is in, in my home. Okay, actually, or recently? Ah, no, or no, 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 Okay, perfect, yeah, okay. usually, okay, okay, perfect, yes. Because actually, remember, is the hecho o la verdad que? Mm -hmm. sí. No, you don't say okay. actually, you say recently I, or something like that. Okay, perfect, that was okay. great, okay, great job, that was awesome. Okay, and Mary, do you have any question? ¿Tienes alguna pregunta, Mary? Vi que levantaste la manito. Mm -hmm. I participa. Okay, you want to participate, okay? Tell us about yourself. Okay. My name is Marina. My last name is Guzman. I I am 23 years old. I live with my husband and with my son. I love English. I study at online English Corporativo. Mm -hmm. I think that's cooperative. All right, perfect. I work at Industria Stopaz. Mm, okay, um, great. Finally. That's it. Okay, so we say that's it. Okay, perfect. That's good. That's good. Great job. All right. So then the next question, okay? Uh, what have been your education experiences? Okay, who wants to answer this? What have been your education experiences? How about uh, Jose David? What have been your education experiences? ¿Cuáles han sido tus experiencias de educación o educativas? Okay, let me just uh, open your microphone because I believe you have a little bit of trouble. Okay, great. Uh, okay. Experience. Um, I study in a university. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you uh, study in university? ¿Qué estudiaste? What do you study? Uh, uh, I am I am teacher. You're a teacher? In, what kind in, of teacher? In lawyer, in lawyer two. In a lawyer two, okay. A lawyer and a in teacher. In lawyer two. Okay, perfect. What okay. kind of teacher are you? Um I I like very much the grammar Spanish. Spanish grammar, okay. So you're a Spanish teacher? Yeah. 
All right, um, perfect, great, that's awesome. Uh, in this in this moment, I, I work in my school with with children. With children, uh, okay, perfect. Um, I I work in in court, uh, several courts, uh, uh, court of family, criminals, and lawyer civils. All right, perfect. Okay, Stephen Wright. Okay, perfect. Great job. Okay, awesome. What about now? Uh, so thank you very much, Jose. Okay, what about now, Jennifer? What are your biggest weaknesses? Tus peores debilidades. Oh, I'm lazy. I'm a little bit lazy. Okay, you're a little bit lazy. Okay. Uh, yes, I you know, know, sleep uh, a lot of time. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, so we're going, we're getting there. Okay, so if you do, if you are in a job interview, if you say you're lazy, they're not gonna hire you. No te van a contratar si dice que sos perezosa. Pero no. si dice que, que te gusta dormir mucho, ¿no? Entonces yes. puedes utilizar eso, puedes decir este, I like sleeping a lot. So I'm always having a fresh mind, okay? Este, okay. puedes decir que tienes una mente fresca eh, siempre para nuevas fresh ideas. Entonces, mind. Fresh mind. Entonces, eh, puedes decir eso. I'm always sleeping a lot or I sleep a lot. But I believe this can help me in the long run because uh, I can have a fresher mind than everybody else, okay? Convertir tu debilidad en fortaleza, okay? Duerme, ¿te gusta yeah. dormir mucho? Pues eh, tienes mejores ideas que los demás porque tienes la mente fresca. Los demás se desvelan viendo Netflix a saber qué cosa y no pueden pensar rápido y bien. Okay? Entonces, tienes que tener... Tu, tu, tu debilidad tienes que convertirla en fortaleza, ¿ok? Aquí okay. se responde esta pregunta, what are, your, your, what are your biggest weaknesses, ¿ok? Muy bien. Luego okay. tenemos este, Erika Costa, what are your biggest strengths? Eric, what are your biggest strengths? Hi, teacher. Um, oh. What is the meaning of strength? Strengths. strengths, fortalezas, fortalezas, strengths, fortalezas. Ah, oh, okay. Um, ¿Cuáles son tus mayores fortalezas? Uh, my students. Your students? So you are a teacher? No. Uh, um, what do you mean? Uh, my students can be used in, in in the future job. ¿Qué te estás tratando de decir? Ah, mis fortalezas pueden ser este, que mis estudios van a ser las fortalezas ah, para, un, para un trabajo, para un futuro. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, so, no es students. Students sí son estudiantes. Se puede preguntar si eras profesor. Ah, oh, ok. My studies. My studies, ok. My studies, ok. Can be, ok. So, what are your studies? What has been your education experience? Okay, um, last month I graduated by uh, electrical engineer. Mm -hmm. and, and in the high school, I, I studied, 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 mm -hmm. studied um, uh, technical account. Okay, perfect, all right, good. All right, that was awesome, okay, great job. That was awesome, great job, perfect, okay. So then let's see what about uh, Allison, okay? Allison, uh, yeah. describe your dream job. Uh, describe your dream job. Describe tu trabajo soñado. Trabajar en un call center sería I am I am hops in, in call center in English. Okay, you want to work in an English call center. Okay, so you would like to say I would like to work in an English call center. Do you work? Do you do you? Do you? No, no le escucho muy bien. Es que escucho algo cortado. Ah, okay, sí. Eh, bueno, okay. Te decía de que eh, 
Bueno, you, you, I would like to work in a call center you, or an English call you center. You would like to work? Would, uh, I would. I would, I would like to work in an English call center. I'm good to work. Do you? Uh, te lo voy a escribir. I will type it, okay? I would like to work, okay, in an English call center. Okay, I would like to work in an English call center, okay? I would like to work in an English call center. All right, perfect. That's great. Perfect, okay? So now, let's see, what about Jose Cabrero? Okay, so your time to answer has come. Just imagine that you are uh, trying to apply for a call center job position. Why should we hire you? ¿Por qué deberíamos de contratarte en un call center? Why should we hire you? Because I, I want to grow up in the company. I want to make money for the company, right? I want to, to uh, improve my skills. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's perfect. It. Okay, so you could also add, like, for example, I would like to work, uh, you should hire me. First, you should answer with the question, okay? You don't say because. You say, first, you should hire me because. Okay? You answer with the question. Siempre respondan la pregunta con la misma pregunta. Si les preguntan, este, ¿cuáles son eh, sus, me, sus peores debilidades? Ustedes dicen, este, mis peores debilidades son. No van a responder son y las mencionan. Tienen que responder con la pregunta. En ese caso, why should we hire you? ¿Por qué deberían de contratarme? ¿Qué contratarte? Sería, deberían de contratarme. You should hire me because, ¿por qué? Ok. So, José, what would be your answer? Why should we hire you? I usually hire me because I want to make a lot of money for the company and I want to, to the company grow up international, uh, maybe become in an agent and, and travel to, to make the deals, a big deals. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what skills do you have that could help us earn money? ¿Qué habilidades uh, tiene que nos ayudarán a ganar dinero? Like, um, I, I, used, I used to study marketing, so I, I know a little bit about um, marketing and merchandising, how to sell something. Uh, this class helped me in how to feel comfortable speaking with my laptop and the microphone, like there in the call center, right? Okay. Say and I am first. positive. Ok, you're positive. Ok, say that first, ok. Menciona eso siempre. No, no esperas a que te pregunten, porque muchas veces ni siquiera te van a preguntar. Recuerda que cuando te preguntan why she will hire you, tienes que decir todas las razones por las que te van a contratar. No tienes que decir solo cosas bonitas de quiero este, hacer dinero, que, que la empresa le da dinero. No. I, I, say, I say that, teacher, I say that, teacher, because the people of the call centers told me that it's better say things like, um, I am account, so I, 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 I like to, to account the money for the company. Sí, no, está perfecto, like está perfecto, pero tienes que mencionar todo. No solo digas, quiero hacer dinero a la compañía. Di, quiero hacer dinero y cómo lo vas a hacer. Ah, exactly, ¿Sí? exactly. Ok, pero si solo dices, I want to make the money for the company, I want to grow, a nadie va a importar eso, porque todos dicen lo mismo. Ok, tienes que dar tus habilidades, decirles por qué te van a contratar, ok. Y recuerden, en las compañías, este, a nadie le importa si le gustan los perros, los gatos, si le gusta pasar en familia, no les importa nada de lo personal. Lo que les importa es quiénes son ustedes, qué habilidades tienen y qué le van a brindar a la compañía. ¿Ok? Entonces no digan este porque quiero mejor crecer, porque quiero, este, porque quiero hacer dinero, porque quiero hacer, ayudar a la compañía a hacer dinero. Pueden decir eso, pero digan también sus habilidades. ¿Ok? Porque sin habilidades, eh, estos solo son ideales, son sueños. Y así nadie los va a contratar. Entonces tienen que ser también confiados en sí mismos. Tienen que confiar en sí mismos y saber qué es lo que van a decir. Si son accountants, son accountants. ¿Ok? Si son lawyers, son lawyers. ¿Ok? Si tienen otros estudios en marketing, pues menciónenlo. Pero siempre den una razón por la que deberían de contratarlos. No es porque quieren. 
¿ok? Porque todos quieren, aplican mil de personas en la misma plaza de trabajo. Tienen que ser diferentes y ir al punto, no hacerle perder tiempo al entrevistador. The, the call center just wants is a live stage. That is the reality. Yeah, yeah. that too, ¿ok? It's long. Mm -hmm. ¿Ok? So, yeah, and working at call center, in this case, is not that good nowadays, ¿ok? No es tan bueno ahora. ¿Ok? La verdad es que ha bajado mucho la calidad de los call centers en estos últimos años. Y lo sé porque tengo muchas personas que trabajan en call center y ha bajado mucho la calidad. ¿Ok? Así que sí, este, ahora hay mucho más este, oportunidades de trabajo en línea. Así que si tienen alguna otra profesión y saben inglés, no se queden solamente a, a, a gente de call center. Hay muchos trabajos que pueden este, tomar eh, con el inglés, incluso, incluso a nivel internacional. No se queden a nivel nacional. ¿Ok? Eh, el mercado internacional paga mejor, ¿ok? Y lo sé por experiencia, porque yo trabajo con estudiantes de todo el mundo. Entonces, sí, sí este, pagan mucho mejor. Por eso les digo que no se queden con El Salvador, ¿ok? Y ve, eh, vayan un poco más allá, ¿ok? Especialmente porque así este, van a poder tener más dinero para su familia, para disfrutar la vida y todo lo demás, ¿ok? Y si ya tienen trabajo, pues aprovechenlo, utilicen ese dinero. Eh, inviértanlo, eh, en este caso, en cosas buenas, en cursos, eh, inviertan su tiempo en aprender inglés y en otras cosas, habilidades que les van a servir. Y quién sabe, quizás pueden poner su propia ahí, compañía pequeña en línea. Porque ¿Okay? ahora todo va a ser en línea, lastimosamente. Debemos de quitarnos eso, eso de las personas de que quieren salir ya a trabajar. ¿Sí? Entonces, las personas pueden salir a trabajar. Pero el problema es de que ese no es el punto, eso ya es cosa del pasado. Ya todos los países ya, ya aprendieron a trabajar en línea. Eso es el futuro. Nosotros no podemos quedarnos atrás. Hay personas que sí van a volver a lo mismo y van a volver a ser pobres. Así porque esos son. Son esclavos de las compañías. Ustedes lo saben. Entonces, este, ¿qué prefieren? ¿Ser esclavos de, de una compañía que les paga mal, que los explote todo eso? ¿O buscar un mejor empleo que sí lo valoren y que les paguen de acuerdo a lo que valen? ¿Ok? Tienen que pensar en eso también. Y si no encuentran, pues pongan su propia compañía. Tienen mucha experiencia ya, las personas que ya tienen mucha experiencia, pongan su propio negocio. Consultorías, este, eh, ahí tenemos ahí un consultant. ¿Ok? Este, algo, eh, pongan su propio negocio en línea. Ahora todo es en línea. ¿Ok? Así que aprovechen el tiempo, ¿ok? Muy bien. Entonces, sí, eso se, eh, sería este, mi consejo para, para esto, las interviews, ¿ok? Para las entrevistas, ¿ok? Ahora vamos a ver qué otra pregunta les puedo decir. Quiero ver. Mm, Betty. Ok, Betty. Uh, why do you want this job? Piensa que estás este, en una entrevista de trabajo para tu trabajo soñado. Why do you want this job? ¿Por qué quieres este trabajo? Betty. Hello, Betty. Okay, no answer. Um, let's see, what about Marvin Chiquillo? Piensa que estamos este, en una entrevista de trabajo para tu trabajo soñado y te preguntan, why do you want this job? ¿Por qué quieres este trabajo? Um, para decir, uh, para mejorar la calidad de vida de okay. my family. To improve my uh, my family's uh, quality of life, okay, life quality. Mm -hmm. Give me this. What else? What else? Um... <coughs> uh, um... Porque puedo decir uh, que tengo uh, habilidades. Sí, definitivamente. Eso es lo que tienes que decir. Ok, especialmente las habilidades. ¿Qué habilidades tiene? You have to be specific. Tienes que ser específico. Ok. Mm -hmm. So, what skills do you have? ¿Qué habilidades tienes? Ok, uh, como habilidad se puede poner uh, como que si estoy, digamos... Para un puesto de que no se sabe directamente si es en inglés, no que en cualquier otro puesto y le puedo decir que sea inglés. 
Ya, yeah, ok, pero de, de dicen este, te, dígame algo en inglés, ¿qué le dijeran? ¿Qué le dijeras? Te hacen una pregunta en inglés, ok, why do you want this job? Te hacen esta pregunta en inglés, una, una plaza para español, lo que sea. Pero, eh, ¿qué responderías? Why do you want this job? ¿Cómo le responderías? What would you tell them? Okay. I have problem with my, no, o sea, no puedo, ¿cómo se dice? Decir las palabras, no sé, se me traba. <laughs> se me chamuscó el cerebrito. Ok, dímelo en español, no hay problema. <laughs> yes, Marvin? ¿Qué quieres decir en español? Yo te lo traduzco, no hay problema. Ok, este... Bueno, en realidad nunca he estado en una entrevista. Pero es ¿qué bien dijera? poco lo que le podría decir. Sí, Betty, hello, can you hear me? ¿Qué pasó, Betty? Veo que has levantado la manita, ¿sí? Betty, yes. Me estaba fallando un poco el, el audio. Ah, ok, te estaba fallando un poco el audio. Sí, creo que es porque como ahorita estamos todos en cámara y quizás por eso este, está fallando un poco el internet. Ok, este, bueno, este, si te se preguntara en una entrevista, why do you want this job? Y es el traba tu trabajo soñado, ¿qué dijera, Betty? Ay, <ríe> dijera, I, I, I can perfectly perform this pos position. Um, I am trying it, trying it. Trained, I'm trained too. Um, I like it. Okay, so you could say I'm trained to do this uh, this job uh, efficiently. Okay, puede decir eficientemente. Estoy entrenada para realizar este trabajo eficientemente. Something like that. You could say, okay, I'm trained to do this job uh, excellently. Okay, or eh, vamos a ver también puede ser este eh, outstandingly. Or I'm, I'm trained to be, to do this job, uh, let's see, graciously, o otro tipo de adverbios, pero ahí que suenen un poco, este, como que puedes hacer el trabajo muy bien, ¿ok? Effectively, very effectively, ¿ok? Ese tipo de cosas puedes decir, ¿no? ¿Cómo? Ejercer. To perform. Mm -hmm. Or to work, yeah, to work as, or to do this job. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué quiere decir? I can perform this position. I can, I, I can, um, uh, let's see, I can handle all the responsibilities that this position requires. Ok, eso puede decir, I can, I can, um, let's see, I can manage, I can manage or I can handle all the, all the responsibilities that this position requires. Ok, soy capaz o, eh, de ejercer esta posición, básicamente. Ok. Ok, so I'm capable or I'm able to uh, do all the responsibilities that this position requires or something like that. Ok, perfect. All right, so guys, uh, this was uh, just a little bit of uh, the speaking section, the speaking lessons that I do with my other students from international countries. So what do you think? ¿Qué, qué tal le, le, le gustó? How do you like it? ¿Qué tal este estuvo? No sé, ¿qué piensan de esta, de esta sesión? ¿Que fue diferente un poco? Yes. ¿Qué tal les pareció? Very, very, well. very nice. Very nice. Very nice, right. Yes, okay, so that's good to hear. Uh, unfortunately, with el corporativo, I cannot really like teach that this way. No puedo enseñar de esta manera cuando estoy dando las clases de inglés corporativo porque es pura gramática. Ok, así que este, si no, no, vamos a termi no terminamos a tiempo nunca, así que ahí van a disculpar. Pero sí, espero que les haya gustado esta forma de, eh, esta oportunidad de, de hablar bastante. Los felicito porque hablaron bastante algunos, otros ahí se quedaron un poco callados. Y pues lo siento por las personas de que no, no, no pudieron participar por problemas de conexión. Que lastimosamente sí, creo que esta forma de, de, de tener clases 
como pongo ahí también los videos para que se vean todos, creo que también eh, genera un poco más de internet, utiliza un poco más de internet. Así que van a disculpar por eso. Pero sí, espero que las personas que pudieron participar, pues les, les ha gustado, que han aprendido algo. Y el día de mañana vamos a hablar un poco de los conditionals, ¿ok? Vamos a revisar un poco la gramática, ¿ok? Y pero también vamos a participar un poco con speaking, vamos a jugar más juegos de, de lo que jugamos hoy. Así que todos, por favor, si quieren ganar puntos, por favor participen. Y váyanse por los números altos, no por los pequeños. ¿Ok? okay. Sean como Allison, que, que ganó por <risa> 1,300, ¿ok? Entonces arriesguense. El que no arriesga no gana. Literal. Sean Allison como Allison. Sí, sean Allison. como Allison, Allison. exacto. Ya le va a hacer meme a Allison. Ahí, sé como Allison. Gana siempre. Arriesgate. Sean como Allison. Ok, el que no arriesga no gana. Sean como Allison. Ok, eso no me acordé del meme de sé como José. <risa> Ok, you need to practice. Ok, perfect. Ok, so that will be everything for today, guys. And I hope you enjoy the class and see you tomorrow. Ok, bye bye. Take care. Bye, bye. Ok, ok. Ok, so then we have. Thank you, teacher. Ok, estuvo excelente. Ayuda mucho para no hablar inglés. Ok, that's great. Ok, so good night. Sleep well. Bye bye. Good night. Good night.